Ajax are arguably the biggest club in Dutch football, but have been disappointing over the last few years. With the likes of Gravenberg, De Ligt, De Jong, Kudus and Timber all leaving in recent years, Ajax haven't won the league title since the 21-22 season and the Dutch Cup in the 2021 season. We will be looking to change that in today's rebuild by hopefully bringing back trophies to the Dutch Giants. Without further ado, let's get straight into this rebuild with Ajax. We are into season one of this Ajax rebuild and I've got a little look through the squad and there are some really, really nice players in this squad a couple of key players like Hato at left back he can actually play center back and I'm probably going to play him as the one of the central center backs we obviously also have Henderson I probably am going to use him for one season and then I'm going to get rid of him because he's at age 34 and I think because we've got so much young young talent around here I think I'm probably just going to use him for one season and then move him on we also have Jordan Henderson who's age 34 so I think I'm probably only going to get one season out of him before I have to move him on we also have Triore on the right wing. We've got a couple of options down here. Akpom as well with Weghorst and Broby as well. He's probably going to be the main man for us up top in that number nine position. And then looking around the team, we have a couple of youth players here, which I have actually upgraded or put into the senior team. And I'm just going to loan them out for a couple of years, get them some first team football so they could come back and play for us in a few years time. So pretty much overall, we've got a good baseline of a squad, a lot of young players, which is kind of, you know, the way Ajax kind of bring up the young players through and sell them for profit. So with this type of rebuild, we're going to try and keep the average age down of the squad. I'm also going to try and keep the signings age down as well. I don't want to be signing like too many old players. I want to try and bring in some young, like fresh talent, come and rebuild with Ajax. And this is how we're going to set up in the first season we're going to use the tick attacker tactical preset and as you can see on the lineup we've gone for a four at the back three in the midfield and then the two wingers with a striker up top henderson obviously playing more in that deeper role and i'll look to probably get rid of him like i said after one season or so and i think overall i do need a new keeper because uh, the keeper that was actually the starting keeper is actually 40 and retiring at the end of the season so i've kind of decided i think i'm going to go out and get a keeper and also Burgess on the right hand side, he's actually, uh, his contract's up in 12 months and he's like 33, 34. So again, I'm going to get one season out of him and then I'm just going to sell him. I'm also going to go out and try and get a right winger for season one. And we're just going to keep it at that for now. A goalkeeper, a young keeper and a right winger. So without further ado, let's jump into season one of this rebuild. We have made our first signing in this Ajax rebuild. Like I did say before, I did want to go out and get a younger keeper because obviously we've got the one retiring at the end of the season. So I did manage to go and pick up Jaden. Awusu Aduru from AZ. I mean, his name is very long and it's a bit a bit of a tongue twister, but we have gone out and got him because he is going to be our starting goalkeeper. He is only 69 overall, but he's age 19. We've managed to get him on a five-year contract. So he will be going into our goal goalkeeper position. I've only spent 3 million on a 19-year-old keeper. So I'm very happy with that. Like I said, we're going to try and get a right winger now. So I'm going to go out and do some scouting and see who I can pick up. And then we'll see after that. I think, like I said, just a right winger and a goalkeeper. And then we're going to move on into season one so let's go and try and get ourselves a new right winger we have made our second signing of this Ajax rebuild and Oscar Bob has come in to Ajax for £5 million. Really highly rated talent who plays for Man City in real life. Who unfortunately actually got a really bad injury in training in real life. So he's actually been out for the past couple of months. But he will be coming in at right wing, 72 overall, 20 years old, a five-year contract for £5 million. The perfect start to this rebuild. Two youngsters coming into the squad of an already great young talented squad without further ado we're going to quickly show you the lineup for season one this will be your Ajax season one lineup Aduro in goal wrench it right back Totalo and Hato at the back in the center of back role Vindal at left back Tahirovic is going to be in the holding midfield role I was going to play Henderson but I think he's only 21 he's 70 overall I think he if he just gets a load of games I think he'll actually turn out to be a really good player for us Van de Moomen is going to be playing alongside Kenneth Taylor and then up top we've got Broby, Oscar Bob on the right wing, the new signing, and Goats, the left winger. Belgian young, only 19. And he's only 69 overall. So he's gonna be playing left wing for us. And we also got a lot of talent on the bench. We've got Akpom, Weghorst, Traore, Regani, Henderson, and a couple of other players on the reserves. Obviously, a lot of young players who I'm gonna be loaning out once uh the transfer before the transfer window does end. So that is gonna be the lineup for the first season with Ajax. And hopefully we can try and finish in the I mean you Realistically, we want to be winning the league every season, but I mean, it's going to take a while to kind of get where we want to be. 
I think a lot of players, especially the younger ones, need a lot of game time to develop and become better players. So without further ado, let's get into season one with Ajax. We have actually decided to sell Burgess, the right winger. I think it is a good time to just sell him. 12 million pounds for a 32 year old that wasn't going to start for us anymore. It's a very, very good bit of business, to be honest with you. We've sold him for 12 million. We brought in Bob for five. And we also have Traore, who's 28, who can play as the rotational option. So we've decided to sell him. Right then, guys, before we do jump into season one, I just wanted to show you the transfers, ins and outs before we get into the season. Now, obviously, we did sell burgers, like I said. Uh, we also sold Jay Gorter. He was one of the keepers that we had in the club for 4 million. I mean, we just signed the new keeper that's going to play and we've already got another backup keeper. So I just thought I'd take the money because Braga came in for him. And 4 million is a nice little chunk of money to get into the balance. Unfortunately, it looks like Kenneth Taylor agreed terms with PSV. I don't know if he had a release clause or anything, but I was literally just finishing up the season and then boom, I got an email and, he, and he'd left. So I don't really know what happened there. And as you can see here, all these players that I've kind of added, like these youth players, so I've basically promoted Marquez, Williams and Janssen from the Youth Academy and I've loaned them out for two years each just so they can get some regular game time and then hopefully when they come back they'll be higher rated and they can actually play for us. And the same thing here with a couple of youth players and then other youngsters that were in the squad when we first started who just aren't really good enough just yet so I thought I'd loan them out for a couple of seasons and then like the Youth Academy players they can come back and hopefully be good enough to get into the first team squad. And as you already saw, Aduro and Bob were the new two new signings and only signings we made in season one. So that is the transfer deadline day done and completed. The transfer window is shut and we're going to dive straight into season one and see where we finish in the league table. So that is the end of season one. And as you can see, Ajax have finished third behind Feyenoord and FC20. We've managed to secure the Europa Conference League for next season. So hopefully that can be a European competition that we can actually win and get our first trophy. But to be honest, I'm not too disappointed with this. Ajax finishing third, 22 wins, seven draws and five losses. Not a bad start to this rebuild. Unfortunately, we got knocked out of the cup competition 2-0 in the second round, which is quite disappointing to start off this season. And as you can see, unfortunately, we got knocked out by Besiktas 4-2 on aggregate in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. And not, not a bad start in terms of Europa League. Obviously, next season, we've only got the Conference League. So hopefully, we can try and push on and qualify for that and actually win it instead of finishing in the quarters like we did in the Europa League. So that is the end of Season 1. We're going to dive straight into Season 2 now. And we're going to go and sign some more players into Season 2. And hopefully, we can try and climb the table to win the league. So we're going to dive into Season 2 now and see who we can sign. We are now into Season 2 and we have started off with a marquee signing for the central midfield role. Turam has joined us from Juventus. A massive signing coming in from Italy. £35.6 million spent on Turam. He is going to be playing in central midfield. He's going to be replacing Jordan Henderson. And he's going to go straight into that starting lineup. I think he's a really, really good player. So he's going to bolster our team. Obviously, Henderson, as you can see, he is now 35. He is out the door. And we've replaced him with Turam. First signing of season two. We have decided to sell Carlos Forbes. He was on loan last season. And I thought I'd just cash out because he wasn't going to play for me. £5.3 million added to the transfer budget. Again, I'm not too sure I'm going to be buying anyone else after I sign Turam. I just think that he was a good addition to the squad and we don't really need to be spending loads of money on new players this season. I feel like the squad is good enough and to use the youth players in the youth academy coming up through the ranks. Wakehorse was the next player to leave. £3.6 million to FC20. I probably shouldn't have sold him back into the league. I kind of made that mistake uh, in the last rebuild we did, but he has gone. I mean, he's not going to get ahead of Broby. He's, he's like 33, Broby's 23, 3.7 million, easy money, sold him, done deal, and we're going to move on into the next. I think I'm not too sure if I want to sign anyone else. I, I'm building up a lot of transfer fees with selling players, so I'm kind of like almost making myself want to buy a player. So I'm just going to go and do some scouting, see if I can sell any more players, and then we'll check and see if we're going to sign anyone else. We have made one more signing and the final signing of season two. It's a new right back, Michael Coyote from Fiorentina. 8.6 million pounds spent. Fairly cheap amount for a young or highly rated young talent. He is going to slot in at 
right back for us 8.6 million pounds 21 years old five-year contract i think that's a really really good bit of business as he is going to be one for the future get a bit of game time under us and hopefully he will develop into a cracking player so without further ado we are done with the transfers in season two this will be the team for season two pretty much an unchanged team apart from Turam coming in at center mid and coyote coming in as a right back oscar bob's already up to a 74 broby up to an 80 goats up to a 71 really really nice to see so that is going to be the lineup obviously we've got a packed bench as well so we've got plenty of options if needed so hopefully we can try and improve on that third place finish from last season we're in the europa conference league this is this season as well so a chance again in europe obviously going down um a tournament in case of like how good it is but nevertheless it is a good tournament to be in obviously being in europe is what you want and the trophies that you want to win but hopefully we can improve and try and get ourselves that conference league title and also the air de vise title so without further ado we're going to jump into season two and see how we get on the second season in a row ajax have finished third in the air de vise i mean just look at the gap between like psv ajax and feyenoord feyenoord absolutely crushed it this season so i mean we're just probably a couple of players away from being able to be in that top position unfortunately once again going out in the second round in the cup competition which is really annoying because we haven't really done anything in the first two seasons in that competition now, i did actually say at the end of season one that i qualified for the conference league because in the table it had ucl as in the europa conference league but we actually qualified for the europa league and we did get through to the round of 16 but united absolutely battered us 5-2 on aggregate so again another disappointing run in the europa Europa League but I mean we're still in the we're still in the Europa League so next season because we finished third again we will once again be in the Europa League competition so hopefully we can improve on this year's result so overall not really a good start to this rebuild we haven't really done much I mean two top three finishes and then a poor run in the domestic cup and then Europa League we got knocked out in the quarterfinals and the round of 16 Take a quick look at the stats for the season. Akpom managed to be our top goal scorer. Turam with 15 goals, 9 assists and 50 games played. Wow. He pretty much played every game this season for us. Broby with 9. Van, Van der Bom again with 11 goals. Oscar Wolb with 6 goals, 5 assists. And Guts is not really doing too much. I know he's only 20, but I think I might bring in a new left winger to be able to start ahead of him because he is only 20, 72 overall. He's playing a few, fair few games, but he's just not really returning on the stats. So might have to be something to look at next season. And speaking of next season, we are now going to go and dive into season three. The start of season three is here and Kamara is going to be the first player we have signed from Monaco for £26.5 million. He will be slotting in next to uh Turam in center midfield I think an upgrade in center mid was needed he is only 22 years old a five-year contract and 26 and a half million pounds spent as you can see Van der Boom and was or is 30 years old now he's getting a bit older he's not really improving and Kamara comes in to replace him to play alongside Turam in central midfield second player of the season free transfer window has come in and it is going to be a left winger Alvarez from Liverpool has come in to start for us at left wing 19 million pounds paid to Liverpool for Valentino Alvarez B rating for that one I think this is a really really good transfer starting off as a 79 overall 20 years old 19 million pounds Goetz has had his chance two seasons now he's not really done much so we've signed Alvarez another young player like I said at the start of the video I do want to try and keep these transfers young like young players instead of just signing the best players in the world and the older players you know I want to try and keep the legacy of Ajax of bringing youngsters into the first team so we have done that again with Alvarez and that is probably going to be the last signing of the window just because we don't really have too much money to play with and I'm trying to build up these youth players so without further ado we're going to jump straight into season three this is going to be your lineup for season three obviously Alvarez and Kamara are the only two people that have come in to change this lineup I'm really looking forward to having Kamara in the central midfield role alongside Turam and that is a really really solid midfield and we also have Alvarez on the left hand side now Broby going up to an 81 now as well he's really impressing me so far he's still only 24 years of age Hato at the back only 20 and he's already gone up to a 78 he started off at like a 75 so it's really good to see Coyote at right back already up to a 75 age 22 really solid first season for him so overall looking good for season three so hopefully we can try and reach the latter stages of the Europa League and try and claim that top spot in the Eredivisie so let's get into season three and see how we get on we 
We've had to make a quick deadline day signing. Roman Lavia has joined from Chelsea in a massive last minute deal. I panicked a little bit, I can't lie. Roman Lavia has come in for 23 million from Chelsea. The reason because I've gone out and had to buy Lavia is because the CDM that was actually starting for us, uh, I can't remember his name, something the Avic at the end of his name, the Bosnian centre mid. For some reason, the board just sold him. Like, I didn't accept any offers from him. So I don't really know what's going on there. In a sense, we've got a better player in now. I know we were to spend 23 million, but Lavia's 22, five-year contract, and he's already an eight, uh, 79 overall. So he's actually better than the player I did have in there. So he will slot straight into the starting 11. So unfortunately, we had to spend a panic buy at the end. But, I mean, Lavia is a great player, so I can't really complain. But that concludes season three. And as you can see, once again, Ajax have finished third for the third season running. I mean, look at the gap between PSV and Feyenoord between us. Like, 58 points, and they finish on 84 and 91. There is a massive gap in squad depth and like just the squad overall in terms of winning the league in this division. I think with Ajax, you know, because we've got so many young players building up the ranks, I think it's going to take a couple of seasons to win the league because we just haven't got the quality as of yet to be pushing on and beating teams like PSV and Feyenoord. However, we did manage to win our first piece of silverware in this rebuild. We won the Dutch Cup 3-1 against Sparta. I think that's Rotterdam which is really good to see. We finally managed to progress because we kept getting knocked out in the second round. Oh, we've actually won the Europa League as well. Ajax winning 3-2 against Frankfurt. That's an absolutely great result. Obviously, two years running, we got knocked out in the quarterfinal and the round of 16. But it's really good to see that we won the Europa League. We've won the cup double and finishing third again. So we'll take that as a successful season in season three. But winning the Europa League means only one thing. We will be playing Champions League football next season. So we're going to have to really hope we get a good transfer budget because we're going to have to try and improve this squad if we want to try and compete in that Champions League. The start of Season 4 sees us buy a left-back, Bradley Loco, from Leicester City for £36.5 million. I thought the left-back slot was probably somewhere I needed to upgrade. So without, so I thought we'd just pretty much just get him in. He looks really good, 83 over already, and he, he will go straight into the starting lineup. 25 years old, 36.8 million pounds spent, and that is quite a lot of the transfer budget, so I don't know if I'm gonna actually make many signings in this window, but for now, that is the first signing of season four. This will be the starting lineup for season four. As you can see, Ramaj as the new goalkeeper, I have changed him out for Adoro because he just hasn't been performing that well, and I wanted to change him. He has actually gone up a rating to 81 already, since I put him in. Loco obviously coming in at left back, 83 rated. That back line looks really solid, as does that midfield as always. And then Broby, Bob, and Alvarez, who's actually injured at the moment, are our attacking options. Obviously, Triore is probably going to come in or Gertz come in for Alvarez while he's injured. But that will be the lineup for season four. But let's see if we can continue last season's success into this one. The end of season four, and Ajax have finally won the domestic league title in the air of ease. We only just beat PSV to the title by two points. But nevertheless, that's an amazing season for the Ajax boys. And we finally ticked off the Air de East title from our trophy list. Unfortunately, we got knocked out in the semi-finals of the Domestic Cup. This time round, not getting our hands on that trophy. Our first round of the Champions League was cut short because we only managed to get the playoffs. And Galatasaray pumped us 4-0 on aggregate. So we didn't even reach the round of 16. Unfortunately, we didn't get anywhere in the Champions League, but because we did win the league, that means we go straight into the Champions League next season, and hopefully we can improve the squad and improve our progression in the Champions League because only reaching the playoff is not what you want. But having said that, a successful season nonetheless because we did manage to finally win the league. So in season four, that now ticks off one league title, one Europa League, and one domestic cup so far in this rebuild. I am loving this Ajax team so far. So without further ado guys, that is the end of Season 4. We're going to dive straight into Season 5 now. We're going to go pick up a couple of players so we can build on that squad to try and win that Champions League. We are kicking off Season 5 with a brand new centre-back. Coming in from Chelsea is Levi Colwell. He has signed for a £29.3 million fee and he is going to be slotting straight into the starting 11 as our left-sided centre-back. Now we do need some rotation in the centre-backs because we actually only have like two that actually start and we don't have the one like there's no backups Hato is obviously there and uh, Sutalo is there as well Sutalo is getting a bit older so I think the back, back line is going to be Colwell and Hato so 
that is going to be the back line those two there on the screen good signing from Chelsea Levi Colwell is the first signing of season five a massive massive deal has just happened guys I can't believe the transfer offer I've just got so Talo, our centre-back has gone to Fulham for 100 million pounds I mean he's only 84 rated and he's like 28 now in his prime years. But I mean, 100 million, I can't say no to that. That's the most money I've had this whole rebuild. Obviously, we just signed Colwell for 35 million. I just can't believe it. 100 million for my centre-back. And Colwell slots in to replace him. So now we have 100 million plus to spend on more transfers, which is absolutely insane. Out with one centre-back and in with another one. Luke Bar is coming in from Bournemouth for 60 million. I mean, it's an absolute win-win. He's coming in, 85 rated centre-back, going straight into the starting lineup with Levi Colwell. And we sold our other centre-back for 100 million pounds. So we've literally pocketed 40 million plus for Luke Bar, pretty much. I mean, I can't believe it. Two 25-year-olds now at the back together. 85 overall, 83 overall, and just under 100 million spent for both of them. So I've pretty much got two centre-backs in return for one. So I can't complain at all. Our final signing of season five is here and it is a brand new right back Malo Gusto from Aston Villa he obviously is at Chelsea in real life so he must have moved to Aston Villa at some point in this rebuild but Malo Gusto is our new right back and he is going to be insane for us He's coming in for 55 million and one of our youngsters well he's not young anymore but one of our youngsters from the start of the save has gone the other way another right back shipped out so he will go straight into the lineup. 86 rated for Malo Gusto. Coyote will be the backup now as Gusto will be the, the main man. I mean, 25 years old, 86 rated. What an insane buy that is. And that concludes the transfer window for season five. I thought the transfer business was done, but I have made a massive decision. I have decided to sell Roby for 85 million pounds. PSG have come in with a massive bid for him. And I'm not too sure if it's the right thing to do, but 85 million pounds. I just had to say yes, because I have got someone lined up that it looks absolutely insane. So I'm going to quickly go and negotiate with this new player and I will show you who it is in just a second. So here we are, guys. Frederick Christiansen comes in from man city for 60 million pounds now this is an absolutely insane deal 60 million pounds 82 overall and he is only 17 years old i think this is literally like a harlan regen and i'm all there for it that is the reason why i sold broby uh, to psg because this 60 million for a 17 year old he's already 82 rated christiansen is gonna be our number nine for the season ahead and i'm so excited to use him he looks absolutely insane so there you have it, guys. This is going to be the team for the upcoming season. Not much. Well, a lot has changed, actually, because Gusto is coming at right back. Luke Bar and Colwell are now the two centre backs that we can be playing together. I mean, look at that midfield of Turam, Kamara and Lavia now. All really, really good. And obviously, we've just brought in the absolute gem, Christiansen up top, the 17 year old. He looks insane. Still got Alvarez on the left hand side and Oscar Bobble on the right. But those two have to be careful because if you look on our bench, we do have two of our youth players that are really 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 good 21 years old and 20 years old Jansen and De Vries I think they, they've got a chance maybe this season or even next season to break through and be starters for us because they have really developed going out on loan and Jansen had like 20 30 million 40 million pound bids for him and I rejected them because I wanted to keep him because they have both come through our youth academy and like I said at the start of this save I wanted to try and sign younger players and use players from our youth academy and these two are literally perfect from the youth academy so I think this season or even next season could be the breakout season for them so without further ado we're going to dive into the latest season and hopefully we can try and get further in the champions league i don't want to be playing or finishing in the playoff position I want to try and get to the final and try and retain our league title so let's see how we get on there you go guys ix have won the air of east title back-to-back -back titles and we finished just one point ahead of Feyenoord, which is absolutely insane once again winning the league for the second time in this rebuild Season 5 sees us win two league titles, one domestic cup and also the Europa League early on. That brings a total of four trophies within five seasons, which I think is really, really good. The only one left is that Champions League. So let's see if we manage to get to the final and win that trophy or not. Oh, guys, unfortunately, we didn't even make it out of the league phase. We finished 28th with seven points. I mean, we finally started winning the league, but we're performing terribly in the Champions League. Next season, we're going to have to really, really try and figure out how to improve in the Champions League because that is the last trophy that we need to complete this rebuild. We've won the league twice, won the domestic cup, and we've won the Europa League. The all-important trophy that is left is just that Champions League. We're just going to jump straight into season six now, and hopefully we can try and build a couple more players into this squad 
to then improve to try and win that Champions League. Before we do get into season six, I just wanted to show you the stats for last or this season, season five. And look at that, Christensen, the gamble paid off. 39 games, 30 goals for a 17 year old. I actually can't believe it. He's absolutely insane. Obviously, Taram again, balling out for us. Same as Oscar Bob, Alvarez, Kamara, and also Janssen, the youth player that has come through the youth academy, actually getting a couple of goals this season, which is really nice to see. So that wraps up season five. Christensen, the wonder kid up front, getting the goals and saving our season to win the league. Can we repeat that in the Champions League for next season? Let's find out. We are starting off season six with a massive signing. Mama Radashvili is coming in from Liverpool for the 88 rated goalkeeper. Is coming in for our goalkeeper plus 45 million. I've swapped him in. I brought him in for this season. I think we could really do with a really good, solid goalkeeper for our Champions League push. 88 overall, 28 years old. I'm really, really happy with that. And that is going to be the only signing I'm going to make, I think, because I don't have any I don't really get given much money. You know, I've won the league every season, like the past couple of seasons, but I don't really get anything more than 50 million each season uh, from the board. So I'm just going to go with this goalkeeper for now, and that's going to be it. And then we're going to, if we sell players, uh, I have to panic buy, which I might do. But for now, he is going to be the only signing we're going to make in season six the transfer window has now shot for season six and look at the team we've got now Mamari Radashvili in at goal 88 rated is insane same as Gusto already 88 overall he's gone up two ratings since he joined Luke Barr and Colwell and Loco the back line finishing the back line I mean really really solid defense and that midfield Lavia Turam and Kamara absolutely insane I turned down bids of 120 million for Kamara in the summer window because there's no way I'm selling him. Christensen already up to an 84 rated in his first season with us. Janssen, the youth prodigy from the youth academy, already up to a 78 overall, age 22, 97 pace. He is one to watch this season. And Alvarez is playing on the right hand side this time after swapping wings so Janssen can come in because Oscar Bob actually did leave on a free because he didn't renew his contract with us unfortunately but we've got our own youth prospect in the starting 11 now which is absolutely great to see so season six is here can we finally win that Champions League trophy try and retain our league title for the third season in a row and try our luck in the domestic league let's see if we can for the third season running Ajax have won the Air de Vies title 79 points against PSV Against PSV 74 and Feyenoord 73. Three seasons on the trot. That's an absolutely insane achievement from Ajax. We've also won our second domestic cup of this rebuild. Ajax winning 3-1 in the final. Now the all-important one. Have we managed to reach the Champions League final? And we have. We will face Arsenal on June the 1st, 2030 in the Champions League final. This is going to be an absolutely tough task to face. I mean, Arsenal are probably one of the best teams on this save. And they've probably got some of the best players in world football right now. So Ajax against Arsenal, the two A's in the Champions League final. Before we do get into the Champions League final, I had to come and look at the season stats. And I mean, look at this. Christiansen, 44 goals, 10 assists in 56 games. That is outrageous. Janssen. Our young youth player getting 26 goals across the season. Taram 24 with 12 assists from midfield is absolutely insane. But I'm absolutely buzzing for this Janssen kid. He came through the youth academy and he's going to be starting in the Champions League final. So then guys, the big game is upon us. This is going to be the lineup for the Champions League final. I mean, that defense and that midfield is looking insane. And then the striker, Christiansen, has been absolutely insane for us this season. And Janssen, our youth prodigy from the youth academy, is starting the Champions League final. What dreams are made of. One of Ajax's young boys coming through the ranks and now starting in the Champions League final. That is insane. So without further ado, guys, we will be playing against Arsenal in the Champions League final. Ball played inside to Hansen now. Hansen going to slide in. Christensen, oh, he's made the ball. He's got the ball. Can he get the shot away? It's saved by Raya. Oh, it's Allison. I thought it was Raya the way he was sliding out there. Turam is on the corner kick now. Let's try and get this into the middle of the box. It's not a good delivery. Going to play it inside to Christensen. Surely that's a penalty ref. Yes. It's a penalty to Ajax just before half time. The best flying in on Christensen there. What was that? He's, he's literally just flung. Nearly two-footed. The best with the, the worst tackle there. And Turam to put Ajax 1-0 up in this final. Turam! And it's saved by Allison. It's saved by Allison. I can't believe we haven't scored that. 
Allison with a fine save in the top corner to Ram now. Try and get a better ball in this time. And it's not in the box this time, but Camera has the ball. Oh, Saliba wins it back to Ram now on the ball. Charging forward. Can he find Janssen, the youngster, down the left hand side? It's Janssen. He's past the defence. It's saved by Allison once again. Oh, we want it back though. Alvarez, Christensen, surely he can finish it. It's saved again by Allison. Oh, Allison is having the game of his life. It's Turam now. Turam going to wait for Janssen now on the left hand side. He's been excellent this game. Can he slide in? Christensen. It's Christensen. Can he square it to Alvarez? Alvarez! Surely he's won it for Ajax. At the back stick, unmarked. And he taps it into an open net. I mean, it's the 87th minute. We've struggled to get a goal. We've been Allison's been clinical behind the sticks. He's been saving everything. He saved the penalty. But this time, he's in no man's land. And Alvarez slots it into an empty net to make it 1-0 to Ajax in the Champions League final. Here come Arsenal now. One last chance. Saka. Surely he's offside. And he is. We've literally got 30 seconds left of this game. Just have to clear it. Janssen. Oh no, he's got given the ball away. Surely that's it, ref. And it's over. Ajax have won the Champions League. For the first time in this rebuild, we have won the Champions League. It took us a couple of seasons in the Champions League to finally get to that final. And Alvarez, one of the youngsters we brought in on a transfer a couple of seasons ago, managed to get the goal. And that leaves us with three league titles, two domestic cups, a Europa League, and now a Champions League to make it seven trophies in this six-season rebuild with Ajax. An absolutely monstrous title and trophy charge from this Ajax team. This has been one of the best rebuilds I've ever done. Not just in FC25, but in FC24 as well. Using all these young players and the Youth Academy players, I mean, it was really, really fun. Shout out to Christiansen, that young striker we signed. Absolutely amazing player. And Turam, our maestro in midfield, will lift the Champions League trophy for Ajax. Once again, Ajax are lifting the Champions League trophy. They are back to their glory days. And this team has been insane. I hope you guys have enjoyed this FC25 rebuild with Ajax because I certainly did. Make sure to leave a like, comment your team suggestions for rebuilds you want me to do in future videos and to make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And I appreciate the support as always as Ajax win the Champions League.